about the ASAP Rocky Puma collection. Now, it's an interesting one because when it was original, originally announced, if I'm not too, if I'm actually, let me actually get the, no, it doesn't matter, I'm actually get the article up. But when it was originally announced, I had the feeling that it was a more substantial agreement. Like, because obviously Puma's got a long relationship with Rihanna um, and obviously them being together now, maybe she kind of brought him in or they went to work with him anyway. It kind of felt like they went to make a whole thing. They went to flesh it out. But I guess with the Formula One being in Las Vegas, they went to probably take advantage of that and kind of strike while the iron's hot and get something going out there in the time being. So maybe this kind of explains why this looks so bad because it was rushed because I think it was announced, the Puma deal might have been announced in September. Let's say for, you know, just let's just say to be charitable that it was actually agreed or they was actually started working on the collection in July. It's still not a lot of time to put together a good first collection with all the resources Puma has, you know, whatever it may be. It's not the longest amount of time to actually put something decent out there. So that might explain why this shit looks so fucking terrible. Because I saw this and I thought to myself, you know what? It probably would have been better if you didn't do anything, you know? If you would have waited out the time properly and actually waited to put it out properly. Because what I've seen so far, it just... It just beggars belief that this was actually gone through some level of quality control and they thought this was actually the one that was going to put Puma back on the map and actually make it a culturally relevant brand because that's what basically they want, right? Because I'm sure Puma sales aren't bad. Um, I'm sure they do fairly well. But in terms of being culturally relevant, um, they're not really there, right? No one really talks about Puma in that regard. So when you collaborate with somebody like an ASAP Rocky or even a Rihanna, you're not doing it purely for sales. You're doing it a lot for like cultural cachet. You want the kids who buy all the hyped sneakers, all the kids that buy all the hyped um, limited edition brands out there. You want them to spend some of their money with Puma. And for me, I just don't think this is what is going to do it. Um, the best thing about this collaboration is the gloves. The best thing about the collaboration is the gloves, for sure, in my opinion. I think the gloves are the best thing about it, but gloves aren't going to be enough to save Puma because this shit looks terrible. You've got this um, face mask or this balaclava thing with holes in it, which looks very dated. It kind of reminds me of like um, Yeezy season one and two, right? Those looks with the holes on the sweats and stuff. But again, even, even the color, even the fucking... Even the fucking color, this beige, creamy color, again, is very reminiscent of early Yeezy. But again, that whole thing is completely dead. That's gone, been and gone. And why is it all holy? Why has it got all rips and holes all over it? Why not just make this balaclava, this face mask, this face mask thing? Why not just make it normal without all the holes? And it's, I think it's got holes in it and it's also been done to look like it's been put inside out. Why well, don't just make it normally with high quality materials without all the, dis the faux distressing and maybe take off the label or whatever it may be or just make it by the holes. Why do you have to have all this kind of ripped bits on it? Like it just doesn't make any sense. Looks absolutely disgusting. Then you got some more pictures here of Rocky doing the collection lookbook pictures. Again, I guess in New York, underneath the overpass with his vintage car and shit. It's just none of it makes sense or matches. You're not going to see anybody in Harlem wearing this stuff voluntarily. If you see anybody in New York wearing this stuff, they've definitely been seeded. 100% they've been seeded or they've got a stylist friend because this stuff is pants. Maybe the shoes are okay. I think these part of the collection, these kind of look like, not Sperrydons, but I forgot the model. There's a particular model that I'm thinking of. It's like a Stussy model that they put out a while back. These kind of look like those same Nike Stussy models from a while back. There's something about them. But the jeans, oh my God, the jeans. Maybe some of the most rancid things I've seen in my life. If you're not seeing these visually, they've got an outline of the Puma logo on the crotch area. So you know that whole, because I don't know about you guys, but I never actually liked those jeans from Bape or from, um, who was it, from Billionaire's Boy Club and shit, that era of putting the logo on the front of your crotch, I personally thought it was terrible. I always thought it was terrible. Let me see if I can find it. Um, it's like a Bape, Bape, I think it's like Bape's to the jeans. Remember, it's a baby name, but they had the but they had the logo on the crotch. And I remember Billionaire's Boys Club also had it. Billionaire, Boys... Oh, was it ice cream? Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's ice cream. I think it was I billionaires. Sorry, let me see. Billionaires. Let me see if I can find it here. Billionaire Boys Club. 
ice cream jeans. Let's see if I can find these. Because I remember these coming out back in the day. And that's the first time I remember seeing those logos. Yeah, there we go, on the crotch. So as you can see here on this screen, that's the first time I remember seeing these crazy big logos on the crotch from Billionaire's Boy Club, right? This is um, Pharrell's brand. If you remember the lore actually behind it, um, the reason why early BBC was really good, Billionaire Boy's Club, was because Nigo made it. Nigo, no, Nigo Pharrell and Ice Cream. Um, sorry, Nigo Pharrell and Skate Thing, the graphic designer for Bait back in the day, actually made this brand, um, you know, as a trio. And then, of course, Pharrell fronted it. That was during the infancy of their relationship. But then, you know, when when Nigo stepped away from designing and skating stopped designing and it came, it became more of a Pharrell thing in-house, that's when it got really terrible, personally. Uh, being a boys club was usually, I think, if I'm mistaken, was the overarching brand. And then Ice Cream was the skate team. He had Ice Cream shoes, whatever. He had a skate team, all that sort of stuff. But I never liked this whole crotch logo thing. I thought it always looked really gaudy and really terrible. And Bape also did it, right? Bape also had the same thing. They had, yeah, exactly. See, Bape also had the same thing. They had, they had a star. They remember, yeah, they had these stars. They had it on the front and whatever. I never liked these logos. I thought they always looked fucking terrible, in my personal humble opinion. So when I saw these jeans from Rocky, I thought, oh my God, they're disgusting. But they're made even more disgusting because these look like, I don't know, they look like, um, they look like workman's jeans or workman pants that have been made into a denim material with the logo on top of it. So you've got this gaudy outline of the Puma logo on the crotch. That's too big, right? It's too big. It's spread across the entire crotch. It's also not centered, if that makes sense. Maybe it's just me, but it doesn't look like a center. It looks like it needs to be nudged to the right a little bit. Maybe it's because of the tail, how it looks, but maybe you know what would actually work better. Maybe the, the logo or the, you know, the actual spelling of Puma, P-U-M-A, in that old school blocky font might actually look better because it's four words, it's four letters, right? You can actually have two letters on this side, two letters on that side. It actually might balance it out better than the logo because the logo is a little bit spread, you know, it's a bit thin here and spread there. So it kind of doesn't look like it's been positioned correctly. It kind of looks like it's kind of leaning too much to the left, not to the right. So I hate that, hate the jacket, hate that fucking banner clava thing. The gloves are the best thing in the entire collection. Um, one more image here. And then you also got another banner clava and, some, and a racing jacket. So if you actually look, if you actually look, if you actually look at the collection in close up, it actually looks worse than what it's shown. Because this is the whole entire thing, by the way, right? There's, I think there's maybe a tracksuit as well included that's not featured on here. But this is the entire thing. And to me, it, it doesn't even bother putting out. Like, it's that bad. It's legitimately maybe the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life and it's really odd because i remember i think it's fashion roadman actually said it on fucking twitter the other day like considering how well asap rocky dresses this is really bad collection and it makes me wonder sometimes maybe if you dress terribly or you're very formulaic or very uni yeah uni is formulaic or, or no you've got some sort of uniform as how you dress, like similar to like of Rick Owens, right? He always dresses the same. Um, J.W. Anson, another one, dresses the same. Um, Tom Ford had particular, you know, they've got a particular way that they dress, but they don't actually wear, like the only one I can think of who actually wears outfits and goes crazy is Mark Jacobs, right? He's actually somebody that puts a lot of thought into his outfits. He's always wearing different brands and shit, and he's one of the best designers of all time. But I think the majority of designers, they have this, tendency to kind of have a uniform that they kind of abide by even yeah you see him at the moment now walking around the world with barefooted and stuff but he's basically wearing the same garments again and again the oversized t-shirts the nice loose pants the bare feet or the close to you know no fucking sole unit on the feet the sock thing that he's wearing same sort of thing but maybe with rocky the fact that he's into so many designers and he um, obviously loves clothes and he likes to dress and likes to you know put fucking looks together maybe all of that create there's too much creativity going into his looks and i you know brain power that it makes sense why when he's then asked to make his own collection it's really hard to make something original new or cool or even nice looking because of all that kind of creative energy is going into your outfits maybe that's the case or Maybe it's the case that he just isn't a, a designer, which is also pretty odd, right? To think of somebody that's that connected to clothes, who's that 
instrumental in like hyping or you know hyping up clothes and being somebody that people see as maybe a leader in that regard especially when it comes to certain items and brands and being an ambassador to all these high level you know high fashion brands and the muse blah, blah 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 to have no ability to like what you like in the high fashion world and then have ability to kind of synthesize into collection is really bizarre to me I just can't imagine how this is possible. Like, how can you be a, you know, a Luwebe ambassador, Bottega ambassador, Dior ambassador, uh, all this sort of shit. The only thing I don't think he hasn't been embraced by is maybe Balenciaga, maybe he doesn't like it. But it's interesting how all those kind of great brands, great designers, all those collaborations he's done, all the magazine covers, all the shoots, and he just hasn't been able to, he hasn't been able to do this. Like, why? How? How? How is this possible? Because this stuff just looks absolutely terrible to me and i can't understand why anybody would wear it personally it just looks gash like even this hat like all of this this stuff looks so dated the hat with the you know with all the rips and the patches and all the burn stuff it just looks like something from a few years ago the graphic design on this long sleeve top with the connecting gloves on it is very dated right this kind of um what y2k inspired flame type of stuff is already kind of gone and already pastiche if anything this formula one top looks like something boiler room would make this looks like boiler room or teletech if you know the promoters here in the uk who put on a lot of really cool techno parties and stuff they have a particular aesthetic and this kind of looks like something like a teletech would put together yeah or maybe a tech culture or like i said um, a fucking um, boiler room this is definitely a collection that they'd put together for their fucking fans to wear as club merch and then you got these denim shorts with this i don't know denim shorts with this tartan patch on the front I don't know what this is meant to be. Is this meant to be like a, uh, a, some sort of handkerchief that you can wipe your hands when you're working on your fucking truck, right? When you got your fucking hootie daddies on or whatever they're called, right? You got your fucking um, jean, jaw, skirt things on and then you what? You wipe the oil from all the fucking stuff they've been working on on this blanket thing. Tartan thing is odd. The gloves are quite cool, but even the gloves, they look like goalie gloves. They don't even look like racing gloves. They look a bit too thick to be gloves that you'd wear if you were going to drive a car and stuff. There's too much padding, too much space in them. Even the gloves don't look like they've been well made, you know? Maybe it's just me. They're, they're, they're not taught enough, you know, to wear date on a daily basis. They just look too gigantic. And then you've got this random Yeezy-inspired um, balaclava with what looks like to be like a keychain from a car keys or something. Like, what is that? It just doesn't make any sense. It looks fucking terrible. Really, some of the worst stuff I've seen. And it's unfortunate because I'm a big fan of Rocky. And I think, you know, it's unfortunate that he hasn't been able to kind of... This This also might explain, sorry. This also might explain why Rocky has never really put out his own collection. Maybe he knows deep down he's not that guy. Because it's something that you don't see too often. Someone that dresses well, who has no ability to design. And I don't mean design for collection, but just to put out stuff that they might like. Because there's some people out there who've got great style who have maybe holes in their wardrobe and then they use an opportunity to have a collab to fill those holes. So maybe they'll say, hey, I always wanted a jean jacket that fit a particular way. I always wanted a leather trench coat that looked a particular way. I always wanted pants that sat a particular way. I always wanted hats that look like you just have these holes in your regular wardrobe you want to fill them and then you have the opportunity comes along where you this you have the opportunity to collaborate with a big brand like puma they have all the resources in production and manufacturing to get the job done so all you have to do is basically just figure out the things that you're missing and then kind of get it done and then you say you know what well, you know i've always wanted i've always wanted like a a really nice quality coach jacket and you make one with puma that's got all the things that you like maybe it's got an elasticated bottom maybe it's got you know um zips instead of snap buttons maybe the snap buttons are made high quality or a particular type of steel or a particular type of metal finish maybe there's a logo on the back maybe it's thermal lined maybe it's gore-tex whatever it may be you figure out things but i just can't think of why you'd want this but maybe i've just said it maybe i figured it out there just speaking aloud maybe rocky has so many clothes he doesn't have any holes in his wardrobe. It's almost impossible for him to make something because he's got too much things. You know, he's got too many options in his you know, wardrobe because you can imagine his wardrobe is probably stacked. It's hard to figure out holes because he's got everything that he wants. And if he doesn't have it, he can just go out and buy it. So maybe that's the reason why the collection is so horrible because he doesn't, he, ne he generally doesn't have a hole in his wardrobe because he has legitimately 
unlimited resources especially between him and rihanna or just him on his own especially with his connections and the fact that he's one of the only few hip-hop artists that have been embraced by the high fashion world and shit he's probably got an un you know he's probably got a, a pool that could rival some of the best girlies out there so maybe that's the reason why the stuff just isn't hitting but for me it looks fucking terrible it looks fucking gash and i hate every single thing about it the most offensive thing for me is definitely the jeans the jeans might be the most offensive thing they kind of look like carpenter pants. They also look like workwear pants, construction, you know, construction guy, bin guy type of pants with the stripes on the middle here. They they kind of they, I don't know what these little bits of fabric loose on their sides are meant to be. Maybe you can maybe you can tighten them up and kind of make them, you know, maybe they've got some sort of elastic or you can pull them in or something. I don't really know. Um the denim finish look thing is horrendous. The label is horrendous. Maybe it's a zip actually. Maybe you can zip them off. Maybe they're zipped off. Maybe you can zip them here and make them into shorts or zip them here and make them into jorts. I don't really know. The logo there is terrible. The logo on the fucking crotch is horrendous. I hate every single thing about this. Legitimately one of the worst things I have seen in my entire life. Honestly. Honestly, it's shocking. And um, yeah, man, I'm surprised that he put this out. But, you know... <laughs> what can you do maybe the bag was that you know was so fat he couldn't turn it down the bag was so fat it was like you know what let me just put this out there and hope the fans are okay with it because the bag was just too fucking fat maybe that's the whole point of it i'm not really too sure but it looks absolutely shocking and i don't think anybody can make this stuff look good not even rocky even rocky couldn't make this stuff look good and again, the best thing about it is the gloves, but I don't think even him, even him in his infinite wisdom could not make this stuff look good. I swear to God he couldn't because it just looks so, 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 so shocking. Let's see some more pictures here, courtesy of Over and Under. You've got a picture of him standing in front of his um, yellow Hummer. He's actually made that Hummer look kind of cool, to be fair, because I, I think, always think Hummers look kind of gaudy and a little bit too OTT, but he actually drives that Hummer like a daily driver. I'm sure he probably got it for free anyway, but um, he actually makes that Hummer look really cool. I'm not sure if it's an EV Hummer. I'm not too sure if it's the electric version, but regardless, he loves that yellow bumblebee-looking Hummer thing that he has. So that's him standing in front of the Hummer and, again, wearing those jeans. Okay, so those straps I was talking about, it looks like from this picture here, those straps are velcro so you can you can kind of cinch the jeans they're even worse they look like velcro straps so you can kind of cinch the trousers and make them a bit cinched like why would you want to wear denim jeans that have cinches just underneath your bum and across your like why would you want them why would you want to cinch the jeans here and there awful again the shoes look decent they're kind of Eastern European inspired. If you have an Eastern European community um, where you live, you would have known there was a particular type of Puma or Lonsdale shoes that all those Eastern European dogs used to love. And these look like the same ones. They're kind of um, really slow. Um, they've got kind of astroturfy grip on the outside. And they've got this like strap that you can kind of tighten on top of them. So that's how they basically look. Again, absolutely gaudy and disgusting. That jacket is okay. But again, the logo, the color, it looks fucking awful. He's got some sort of like pearly, bejeweled um, face mask thing going on over there. Uh, <laughs> game breed. Take the hammer to Tune Town. <laughs> what? To, to Tune Wheels. <laughs> uh, the glove. Yeah, like I said, the gloves are the best thing about it, but I think the gloves are too. They look like goalie gloves. Maybe these black ones, they, make, they need to be a little bit more slivette or slivette, whatever that fucking word is. They need to kind of fit a little bit closer to the skin, like mechanic gloves or something. They, they look a little bit too chunky for me. That's the only thing I don't like about them personally. Um, but the gloves are probably the best thing about the entire collection. This long sleeve thing with the gloves connected, miss me with that shit. Again, very, very dated, very whatever. Um, what was that French brand that existed for a while? Um, that had that top with the half moon crescent thing it kind of reminds me of that but that's kind of been and gone that whole thing and obviously Balenciaga is, is kind of synonymous with that look now with the shirt that connects to a glove thing but again I'm not a fan of those um and then we also got here come on move on and then we've got yeah the face mask like yeah you can miss me with all this shit I hate all of it I think it looks horrendous but I'll be surprised if maybe it actually sells out if this actually sells out then it's going to really do me for a loop if this actually does end up selling out. But yeah, for me, I don't like any of it. I think it looks all terrible. The shoes here look, don't look too bad. Those shoes on that picture actually look quite cool. Let me actually zoom into those shoes. Those shoes look quite cool. 
So maybe the shoes and the gloves. I could probably have the sneakers here look really interesting. Like it's almost like a is that a sock or sneaker? I don't really know. It looks like a sock, but it could be actually a snow. It's actually a sneaker. It's actually a really thin sock looking sneaker that looks really futuristic and cool. Maybe it's a slipper or something, but these look really cool. I like the way that these look. I'm not gonna lie. Oh look, he's putting his middle finger up. It's so edgy. Hardcore. Guy, you're in your thirties, man. Allow it, bro. Middle finger being like come on, come on, bro. Come on. Again. Not for me. Not for me. Not for me. Not for me.